welcome back guys this is question 5.27 and the statement of this question is if the probability that a fluorescent light has a useful life of at least 800 hours is 0 0.9 find the probabilities that among 20 such lights part a of it exactly 18 will have a useful life of at least 800 hours b at least 15 will have a useful life of at least 800 hours and c at least two will not have a useful life of at least 800 hours okay so this is basically the statement and now we have the table as well as the formula to solve them so uh, in this question we will try to solve it by using the table which we have instead of falling into the heavy calculations so in in this question let us first write the given data here so in writing the given data this is the given data okay so what is given we know that the probability that life is life of a fluorescent light is at least 800 hours so this is greater than 800 hours the probability of it is given and that is 0 0.9 okay so let me call it the probability p of the true event similarly here we have the total lights which are n equal to what 20 okay this is what we are given now on the basis of it what do we have to find out we have to find out or the required quantities here are part a of it we have to find what we have to find exactly 18 will have a useful life of at least 800 hours so we want to find out the probability that k is equal to 18 okay b is the probability that at least 15 will have a useful life of at least 800 hours so at least means okay greater or equal to so k should be greater or equal to 15 which is at least and maximum is 20 because the total number of items there are 20 so this is required and in part c we have to find out that at least two will not have a useful life of at least 800 hours so at least two will not have means the probability that the useful lives will be less than or equal to 18 why because two is the lowest range of the not working lights therefore 18 is the maximum range of useful lights okay so therefore i have written it like this so now in order to solve it let me solve it here this is the solution now in order to solve part b of my question let me use this color as well so this is b and probability that i want to find out the probability that k is greater or equal to 15 but now this calculation will be very heavy in order to do so i am going to use the table so therefore in using the table i have to convert this symbol into the less than or equal to so it would become 1 minus the probability that k is less than or equal to 14 okay or it would be 1 minus I have to find out the probability where the value of n is 20 okay the probability is 0 0.9 and the value of c is 14 okay and I had to subtract it from 1 so let me go to the table again so here we have a table and let me choose another color for this question so this is 14 uh, this is what this is for 0 0.9 probability this is because this is a second last column and the value of c is 14 so uh, this is 0 0.011 so let me take it and put it there 0 0.011 
and subtracting it, what I will get 0 0.989 and this is what this is basically the solution for part B of my question. Okay, so this is the solution for part B. Now, in order to solve part C, let me move down somehow. So, in part C, I have to find out the probability that k is less than or equal to 80. So, again, this is a very hefty calculation. The other way I can do it, I can use it like 1 minus probability that k is greater or equal to 19 or it would become 1 minus the probability that k is equal to 19 plus the probability that k is equal to 20 okay finding them uh, again by using the formula which is the binomial formula for the k value of 19 and 20 adding them together and subtracting them i will get the answer but if i have a table i can directly find out the value for k is less than or equal to 18. So now here I have to find out the formula in which the value of n is 20, probability is 0 0.9 and the value of c is 18. Okay. So this is what we have to find out. So let us move to the table again. This is the table and here I have to find out the value for 18 and this is here which I had so this is 0 0.608 so now 0 0.608 and that is what that is basically the solution of part c of my question okay why did I not change it to or not subtract it from 1 because this one is already less than or equal to 18 and I have previously told you that in this formula in this table I must have to use this one and you can see that I have here less than or equal to C so I have to convert all these values into this form okay so now this one is already in that form so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 5.27 and how to use the probability table which can reduce the computation time and also give you the answer in the minimum time as well okay so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon